everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have had a really lazy day. I woke up and I cooked myself some breakfast and then I just kind of laid around on the lounge and read a book all morning. It was really nice and yeah, sometimes you just kind of need a slow day like that. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emma and I'm so happy to have you here. So I do vlogs on fitness, health, beauty, and I talk a lot about my journey with an autoimmune disease. I had Graves disease for four years and then I had a total thyroidectomy. And I just really love connecting with people who have been on similar journeys like that and just giving you my tips and tricks that I've kind of picked up along the way. My plan for this afternoon is I've picked out a couple of my beauty products and I want to go through them and just kind of check what ingredients are in them. For the last year I've been doing a lot of research on this type of thing but I'm really kind of knuckling down and I actually want to kind of do a bit of a series on my channel about this where, oh my gosh my arm is getting so tired from holding my camera. Let me change arms. So I want to do a series on my channel where I just pick different areas of my house and I go through the different products that I have and just see what harmful ingredients I have in my house. So my dream is to eliminate as many toxins from my house as I can and eventually I would love to just do all, just to make all my own products. That is just my current goal at the moment that I really wanna achieve over the next year. So let's take a look at the five products that I've selected today and see what's in them. how many harmful chemicals are actually in the trusted products that you've been probably buying for years. We see them advertised on TV all the time, we see them at the shops all the time and you know before I got sick with Graves disease I was a huge beauty lover ever since I was a child. I always would love them myself in like all the products possible because I just love them and that's how I actually started my YouTube channel as kind of a beauty blogger and my Instagram. That's what I did for many years and it's only recently that I'm really being more conscious as to what I'm purchasing and I'm putting on my body. A lot of the products actually disrupt your endocrine system which is what I suffered for for years and still even though now I don't have a thyroid I still have to take medication every day to balance out my hormones. So if I'm adding extra products into my system that can disrupt my medication, I'm really throwing all of my hard work down the drain. Let's just start going through the products. The first one I have here is an Australian brand that I really love. It's Sukin, and this here is the Rose Hip Oil. Now, in here, if you look at the ingredients, it actually only has one ingredient, which is just Rose Hip Oil. So to me, this is a good product because the least amount of products that they put in, the less likely it is that there's going to be lots of hidden nasties. So for me, this one gets a big tick and it's staying in my cupboard. The next product that I have here is a face wash that I have. Now, one thing that I do want to say is even though some of the products that I'm about to show you do have chemicals in it, I'm also mindful and conscious of wastage. So even though I may have, I may have some products here that aren't necessarily the best for me, I'm not just going to throw them out, I'm going to use them up and then replace them with something that's a lot safer. So this one here is a product from Lush Cosmetics and it is called Dark Angels. I picked this up recently, it is a face scrub, like a pretty, it's a pretty harsh face scrub, so this isn't for everybody. So this has a lot of natural ingredients in it, it has like mud, organic avocado oil, it has powdered charcoal, then it just has some sandalwood oil, rosewood oil. Now, my pronunciation of many of these words is probably not going to be exactly correct, but I'll do my best. So one product in here is sodium lauryl sarcosinate, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, 
So now this is actually the more natural version and what that is is a product that they put into things to help them foam up. The other one that they use is a harsher synthetic version and that is actually really harmful for your skin because it can cause a lot of skin irritation. But this one is the more natural way. So this one I'm going to say it's if it didn't have that product I would probably like love it even more. But I am going to say that this is still an okay product that I have in my collection. Next, I have Johnson's Body Care Body Wash. Now, I actually don't use this. This is my husband's. Getting him on board with eliminating toxins, he is interested, but he still will go to the shops and just grab something that's really easy for him. So this one, I know, is just full of nasty, nasty chemicals. A big thing in this are synthetic fragrances, which does, like I said before, disrupt the endocrine system. There's also chemicals in here that's linked to cancer. So one thing that's really gross is products that contain parabens like this, they do disrupt your, your hormones and the toxins can actually get stored in your fat and muscle tissue. So it can stay in your body for a really long time, which can then cause your body to become really toxic and lead to health issues like autoimmune diseases. Next on my list, I have this deodorant and it is a natural brand. It's only a new brand actually on the market in Australia. My Aura, I believe it's called My Aura Organics. And this is the Rose Vanilla Jasmine. This smells beautiful. I, oh, I actually really love this. Anything that's rose scent, I love. So, this is great because it already says on the packaging here, no aluminium, no zinc, no preservatives, no palm oil, um, and it's made from aloe vera, vitamin E, shea butter, and essential oils. So it's all natural and it's a vegan product as well. They also use ingredients and packaging that isn't harmful to the environment and is sustainable. So this gets a big tick in my book, this brand here. The last product I have is just a random hand soap that we picked up a couple of weeks ago at the shops. When I was in the shops and we purchased this, I already was kind of like, oh, I already know that this is going to be really, really bad. But honestly, it was just the cheapest one and we were in a rush and we just grabbed it and went. Now, I was reading through some of the ingredients and this actually has gasoline in it. Gasoline. I'm not even kidding. There's gasoline in this hand soap and I will be putting this on my skin. Your skin is the largest organ in your body and anything you put on it gets absorbed straight into your bloodstream. But every single ingredient in this is harmful in some way. And I've been using it on my hands every day. So that's disgusting. And I definitely won't be purchasing this again. Scary, right? Ugh. I hope I haven't alarmed anybody, but definitely take a look at what you're using. Try and be a little bit more mindful what you're putting on your skin because if you are suffering from health issues, just by making small changes like in the products that we put on our skin could improve our health drastically. I am by no means perfect and I'm really only just at the beginning of this journey of educating myself and changing over the products, but I think it's just the small little changes that we can make each day that's gonna make a big difference in the end. The sun is starting to set and I have been a couch potato for a good part of the day. So it's definitely time to move my body. Today I'm just doing an at-home workout. So I like to do these most mornings before I go to work if I haven't allowed enough time to go to the gym. So this is just body weight exercise, you don't need any equipment for it. It can be done anywhere. You only need a tiny amount of space. That's the type of workouts that I really want to share with you. I want to show you that you don't need a gym membership. You don't need a heap of fancy equipment to work out. It should be about making you feel good and improving your health. So today's workout is a fat burning workout and it's going to be focusing a lot on the lower body. So it's going to be great for toning up your thighs and your butt. I picked six exercises and I'm going to be doing each exercise for 45 seconds. Then I'll have a 20 second rest in between each set. And I'm going to repeat that three to four times. I'm aiming for four, but let's see how my legs last during this. <laughs> I've got my timer here set for 45 seconds. The first exercise is squat, so let's go.
This last one's a killer. It's really gonna get your heart pumping.